You've tuned in to the Top 10 Gardener with garden expert, Ken Lane. Join him daily as he answers timely garden questions that are sure to make a difference in your gardens. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. And we're back with Lisa Waters <clears throat> Lane. She comes in the studio each week and just shares her garden knowledge, her expertise, a, a different perspective uh, of how to have more beauty, functionality, ease in the landscape. More butterflies, more fairies, more hummingbirds. There is a feeling, you know, a garden is a, is a thumbprint. It's, mm -hmm. it's like, a, it's like a, a personality and it comes out in each garden and each plant will respond to their gardener in a different way. So it's kind of nice to have another gardener, my favorite gardener, in Thank the you. studio with me. Good Welcome, Lisa. Here. Good to be back. Yeah. Once so what again. do you what do you got for us this week? Oh, I wanted right to share to with it. you. You haven't seen this. <laughs> I'll share the folks on, on camera. So folks that are we're, we're, yeah. so you know if you're tuned in, you're driving down, going off to Costco or something. I mean, don't pull over and take your phone out. Look at this, because you're you're listening to it. But uh, for you folks on Apple and Spotify, it's the iHearts, you can you're watching it sometimes. We did get this uh best of Yavapai County. There we go. Can you take a look? We just got it. I don't think you've seen that. This is from Prescott now, uh, the following award is given to Waters Garden Center as the 2024 best of the of Yavapai County. We're proud to, proud to get one of these. So it's very pretty. Very nice. Congratulations. Nice. You should yes. show the team. I'll take this hanging up in, in the. Uh, it uh, is a team effort. You oh, can't it is. do this with Ken and Lisa. We have a wonderful yeah. team, Kenzie, and she's running it, making it beautiful. Yeah. You know, it's team. fun. So, so we're hot. It's, it's autumn. So the holidays are out. And so we are breaking out our skeletons. We love skeletons. I don't know why we like dressing them up. We've got Darth Vader helmets. We've got aprons on them, sunglasses. We just make <clears> them <throat> fun. And they, they have fun, whimsical <laughs> settings around them. Him. It's yeah. kind of hilarious actually. So they're just having a good time. I think that's the difference between box stores. I mean, our team has fun. They love coming to work. They love interacting with gardeners. They just love what they do because they're given freedom to be creative mm -hmm. and give put their personality into our store, which makes a difference to for our community. A small business, you get that, you get that thumbprint, you get that DNA overlaid. Yeah, we sell plants. We sell luxury plants. I mean, they're nicer than just the average plant. You can go to the box store and buy a similar, it won't be the same quality, won't be the same, won't grow as fast. Eventually it will be as big, but you can grow, you can have the same plant over there for $5 less, or you can come here and have personality and health and expertise. And just, you can feel the, the people in every plant that we sell and the experience in which you're buying it. A box store is kind of sterile, kind of, it's like dim lights are flickering in the corner. And there's this <laughs> echo from the PA system. And you just, it's not, it's, you don't have that personal touch. Mm -hmm. You've got that corporate touch. And that's, that I think is how we get the, so many of these awards mm -hmm. is we give our team freedom right. to say, I, we encourage it. Put your personality into it. This mm -hmm. is part, you're part of us. You're part of the family. Help us be better. Yep. And they do. And that's why we have a place where our employees put their roots down. They never leave, <laughs> <laughs> which is great. We love it. Yeah. So anyway. Definitely. So I yeah. I went you, off on that riff. I don't know. You always get on some <laughs> soapbox. But yeah, the skeletons are really cute. People should come in and check those out. Yeah. They're, along with the moms. Along the with mom, the, yeah. the autumn plants. Now you're giving away my whole oh, sorry. Yeah. Just <laughs> on moms? Just on moms. No. Okay. Actually, what I wanted to hit on first was um, there's still a lot of great perennials out there oh, that yeah. can be planted now. And they're going to be super happy being planted now because yeah, we're past the heat of the heat. But the soils are still warm. Yeah. Uh, they still got some growing time, some time to send out their roots and then go dormant for the winter and then wake up in the spring. Uh, I just brought a couple of them that are still looking really nice. So this one That's is Agastache. It's crazy. This is Pink Pearl Agastache. Say that without spitting. <laughs> <laughs> so Pink Pearl. Um, so Agastache. So we... I've told you guys about the little hummingbird that hangs around the garden. Oh, yeah. He loves this oh, plant. Yeah, it's a favorite. Usually in the morning I'm out there, I see him. He's hitting this thing first. He just absolutely loves it. Um, great plant. 
kind of you could use it in place of salvia if you feel like you know what yeah six types of salvia in my yard are enough maybe i want something different and um, agastache is a great substitution for that is this also called hummingbird mint mm -hmm. it, oh it is okay hummingbird mint no well no yeah. wonder so animal resistant uh, for deer and bunnies and javelinas uh, but the hummingbirds and your other little pollinators are going to love it yeah this one I, I this is a companion plant to russian sage mm -hmm. some of your salvias like you mentioned it doesn't get as tall and it's not as weedy. It's far easier to care for, to maintain a true perennial. That mm -hmm. is, it's going to be up and glorious for the summer through the autumn. It'll bloom like this into November. It's a crazy long bloom cycle. And then it hibernates underground. You mow it back and then it comes back fresh every year. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a good, strong plant. The reason it's not so weedy, it doesn't send off seed everywhere, which right. means it blooms better mm -hmm. and it keeps its space it doesn't tend to want to run across the yard and lift up your rock and do issues right. like russian sage does not gonna be it's, pulling it's a messy it plant <laughs> it's not going to be in every crook and cranny that yeah you and longer yeah. lived yeah. Than, than most perennials mm -hmm. good agastache so agastache this is looking really beautiful right now so i thought i'd brought it bring it in and way better um, than just purple oh yeah Purple's boring. It's nice to have something different and pinks and reds and some of these yeah. others is a great idea um and so i brought in this coneflower or echinacea this one's called Sweet Sandia Coneflower. And I thought this was really cool because the blooms start awesome. out green, yeah. like a chartreuse green. That's crazy. And then as it matures, it turns into more of a pink. You can kind of see one of pink them yeah. there is a little more pink. Yeah. But really cool because you get the, the change of color on the one plant. And so as a bloom matures, it's going to turn more and more pink, but I actually really like that green color. I think yeah. it's really cool. So this is a rare plant. So echinaceas are diamond does. Your grandparents are growing echinacea, the purple one. Okay, great. We're trying, it's such a strong grower for here. And we know that gardeners, they get bored. Yeah. They want something different, unusual. I haven't seen that before. They wanted to glow in the dark. They want, hordes of hummingbirds attacking it they want they we were trying to bring in but to have green flowers like chartreuse green that fade to pink crazy and you will not find this anywhere else in the state it's only here because we like we like freaky plants <laughs> too it's just an unusual if even if you don't like green flowers Right. It'd be worth coming in. It's like looking at a green rose. They make a green rose. That's unusual. And then it fades to white. <laughs> well, that's cool. Well, as it transitions, it, it is rather neat. And mm -hmm. there's a place for this yeah. in the garden to add some uniqueness to right. your garden. So and hummingbirds and butterflies, they're still going to love yeah. this. And they'll, the regular birds will love it at the end of the season yeah. because they love the little seed heads that's going to be yeah. on the flower. So What's the name of this one again? This one's Sienna. <clears throat> sweet sandia sweet sandia oh, echinacea yeah, yeah. sweet sandia where's that sweet flower that lisa was talking about on the video show home. well let me show you it's green <laughs> here you go yeah they'll go she's talking about some green flower and we know right where it is it's fun how some <clears throat> folks they're driving across town or it's you know they're, they're gracious enough to tune us in while they're going from a to b or coming back from church or whatever and that they, they caught it they remember sort of, but not all the details. And they come in afterwards and go, right. no, I want that. Of course, the staff, are, this is <laughs> this is a live deal. So they haven't really listened to this right. yet. So it's like, oh, I don't know what yeah. they were talking about. <laughs> and we just start showing you things. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you'll like some. So, um, um, so yeah, not too late to plant perennials. Also, um, we have a lot of really good deals on some of our perennials right now too. So if you're looking to refurbish your bed, get some new stuff in there, now is an excellent time to do it because there's some pretty good bargains yeah. out there for the perennials. So, okay, that's that. Fall veggies. Okay. So fall veggies, we've got There's a time. wonderful supply in right now. Um, that would be your lettuce, kale, broccoli, cauliflower. We've got some onions, we've got some beets. Um, just a really nice selection of varieties of lettuce, yeah. not just one variety. There's some really nice varieties in there. So now might be the time to think about where you want to put those in your fall garden, especially as the tomatillos go. Yeah. <laughs> and the zucchini it's gone. bit the dust. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's time to start thinking, oh, I can rework these areas of the garden, get them ready to put my fall veggies in. So people don't realize if they're new to this milder four season climate, you can have broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, 
through the end of the year. You can harvest those for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner fresh from the gardens. It's very easy to do because we're cold, but we're, we're very mild. It's nice during the day. So mm -hmm. you can get an actual third season out of your gardens very easily with some of these fall. And they fill yeah. in so quickly right. compared to the spring season. They kind of sit there and look at you and then they finally fill in. Then it gets too hot and they bolt. <laughs> They don't do that this day. Yeah. It's almost a better time of year to plant those. Right. We are out of time just oh, like wow. that. Look Be at right that. back. Waters Garden companion plants for September are Russian sage, pampas grass, honeysuckle, and raywood ash. Raywoods are superior shade trees for wind and drought locations. Plant as a single specimen or in a grove for more widespread shade on hot south and western exposures. Dark green foliage forms the perfect round head with leaves that turn a magical wine red through autumn. We sell only the prettiest shade trees at Waters Garden Center. Shop in-store or online at watersgardencenter.com. You're listening to garden expert Ken Lane, owner of Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Look for more tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts through Ken's website. Additional shows of this podcast, read his weekly garden column, or follow him on Facebook, Instagram, at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. <laughs>